The undergarment was the target for the ban, mainly because of public health concern. Now, we know there are discharges, even from sweat on the body. We know there are pina, we know there are vagina discharges. And if there are any of such, or even people may be infected with skin diseases, this comes directly in contact with these undergarments or underpants. Now, when these underpants or the microbes get in there, they can become dormant for a period of time. If they are not properly washed, if they are not properly disinfected, if they are not properly dried, once the environmental conditions are ripe, they again begin to grow, leading to all manner of infections. So it is for these reasons that they were the target of the LI-1586. The enforcement is ongoing at all our points of entry, be it at the seaport or at the, at the lab port. Now we continue to have used clothings coming in. Now when you inspect a container full of used clothing, you may not have a bill of underpants or used handkerchiefs in them. Once a while, in a whole 20-footer container, you may get a bill of used underpants. But when we do, they are confiscated and they are not sent out to the market. But looking at what is happening on the market, then we can surely say that these things are smuggled into the country. So we also have trading or standard trading offices that we sent out there and it is not only on used clothing. We send them out there to just look for substandard products. Now, when the trading standard officers find out that you are selling a banned item, the items in the first place are confiscated and destroyed. And then GSA, not too long ago, got a new act, Act 1078. Punitive actions or measures have been put in place for those found to be indulging in this. It ranges from a fine to imprisonment.